Hi, I'm Professor George Mallott, National Clinical Lead in the National Renal Office HIC. My advice is that you should contact your local renal unit, talk to the dialysis staff who will make an assessment. If there is a need for you to be tested for COVID-19, they will inform you of the arrangements that need to be made and make the arrangements for you. We advise all patients to do social distancing. Dialysis patients will be kept apart as much as possible. You'll be considered a relatively low risk. Each unit will have its own strategy as to how to manage that. But in general, dialysis will proceed normally, but we would advise people to continue self-monitoring themselves very closely. Yes, you will be able to get your dialysis. Each unit has a plan as to how to manage patients with COVID-19. The time of your dialysis and the location of your dialysis may change according to local protocols, but no patient will be denied treatment just because they've got COVID-19. I'm sorry to hear that the journey time is a bit longer, but there is a pressing need to create additional dialysis capacity in the main hospital units to cope with COVID-19. A lot of patients who develop COVID-19 infection develop kidney injury, and we need to have space and capacity to treat those. We also need to have space to dialyze your fellow patients who develop COVID-19 in isolation. To generate that space, we are going to move people out to the HSE contracted units and we thank you for agreeing to do so. If someone in your house either has the, has the virus or has been in close contact with somebody who's had the virus, that person should self-isolate. I think in those circumstances, what you'll have to do is contact your local dialysis unit and they will make arrangements to deliver your dialysis in the hospital. So you'll have to travel to your local dialysis unit to get your dialysis. Patients on peritoneal dialysis are at no higher risk of catching COVID-19 than the general population. The fact that you have a peritoneal dialysis catheter in situ does not put you at any higher risk. Now would not be a good time to try and change to home therapies because we don't have the staff to do something like that. I think in the future it's something that many units will prioritise for the benefit of their patients. Patients are encouraged to self-transport where possible. To that end, a system has been set up so that a stipend of 30 cents per kilometre will be paid to patients to travel to and from their nearest dialysis unit. Taxi services are still there. If you need to get a taxi home, it will be arranged. It's not a mutually exclusive system. Each dialysis unit will have its own system for sorting out payment. I would ask that people take some time because it, to accept this because this is a new system and it might take a few days to get this organised. It may be possible that the IKEA might be in a position to support you or in certain circumstances it may be possible some of the dialysis units may be in a position to support you from their own patient funds. Each unit will have its own arrangements.